OK, so we've finished static variables and now we're on to static methods. You can have static methods in normal classes and they don't get called by an object reference just like the static variables. Instead, you again use the class name reference. And again, I would like to give you a demo. If you download the slides for this video, you can also uh, copy, literally like this, copy and paste it into your Visual Studio. So if we copy this example and we can explain it. Okay, so I have two classes. I'm just going to do a bit of cleanup. I have two classes, an A and a B. These the A is a normal class and it contains a static method. In the second case, I actually have a static class and inside it, it has a static method. And the reason is, is that you cannot have normal methods inside static classes. So if I deleted that, I would get an error. And I just saved it. So now the error is when I go up to here, I can see class B do work. Well, you just say, well, why don't you make an instance of it? Okay, so we'll make a class B, B equals new. you normally would create a class. However, you can't do this because, as it says here, you can't create an instance of a static class. So we can't do that. Okay, so how am I going to access do work? Well, I can't access it because it has to be static. So if I go do work, there's going to be an error and again um, Visual Studio is quite nice because it tells you that you can't do these things so it means that this every if you have a static class every variable and method inside the class must also be static so public static void do work and now you can see it does work Okay, so the second sample is class A and we have, it's just a normal bog standard class, but in this instance it has a static method. So as we see up here, I create a new object like normal and I call the method like I normally would using the object name reference, but I'm going to have a little squiggle under there because you can't call a static method from an object, object, just like you can't call a static variable from an object. So the only way to access that static method is again to use the class name. So now you can see how we use a class, a normal class, with a static method and also how we access a static method within a static class. And I've also provided another demo just for you to also see static variables and static methods inside normal classes. Now there is another static method which is a, a unique method because it's called the static main method and because you are learning programming possibly for the first time you spend most of your time writing all your programming code within the main method so it's it's the main method that all newbie programmers learn to write in
but it's also the entry point to any C sharp program. So for a C sharp program to run its main thread, it looks for the static main method. And if it doesn't find it, the program won't run. The thing about a class that contains a static method, unlike other normal classes that contain static methods, you can't instantiate this class with the static method, i.e. you can't create an object from it. And that's only for the static main methods. And other methods and variables inside must also be static which is why more advanced programmers just use the main method to create a new object to manage your program, i.e. you don't use much coding inside the main method. And I'll just give you an example of how they would do that. So you can see here, normally what you would see in a main method is they will call uh, an object, maybe it's called manager, whatever you like, and they'll call the method startup and all the work then for the program will be started from that point onwards. So really, normally, I know at the moment you're doing all your coding in main, but eventually as you progress, you will only ever maybe have two or three or four lines inside main and you will do all your work in other classes outside that class that contains main. And just to emphasize again, in every programming language, including C Sharp, you do need a starting class and a starting method called main. And this is your entry point into the application in which you create uh, all the different classes that run your program. Okay, thank you.